Hello, uh, this is Welcome to Your News. Uh, uh, it's February 5th, and I'm Edmund Griddles. Before we get into all this depressing, newsy type stuff, I'd just like to take a moment and personally welcome you to the first ever broadcast of Channel 7 Horizon Online News on February 5, 2009. Yes, savor it, audience, for this is an event that you will recount with joy to your children, and your children will recount it to their children. And your children's children children will recount this event to their children. And your children's 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 children will be forced to board a rocket ship bound for Mars thanks to the exhaustion of resources here on Earth. According to the Associated Press, President Barack Obama signed a bill that would extend health care coverage to 4 million uninsured children yesterday, after the House voted for it 290 to 135. It is unclear how many of these 135 representatives dislike uninsured children. Come on, guys. The chairman of the Arkansas Medical Board was critically injured yesterday when a bomb exploded in his SUV, sending him to the hospital in critical condition. The motive, as well as the perpetrators, are unknown. Facebook, the social networking site that probably has embarrassing pictures of you with your friends in it, turns five years old this week. Creator Mark Zuckerberg, only 19 when he started the website, is now the youngest billionaire on the planet, thanks to those creepy ads on the side of your profile that advertise novelty dating services, back hair shaving apparatuses, and topical cream for diseases I cannot even pronounce. Thanks, Mark. President Obama admits to ABC News that it's an embarrassing day for his administration, thanks to three of his administration nominees withdrawing their names, thanks to tax troubles. Tom Daschle, who was chosen to be Secretary of Health and Human Services, apparently owed $140,000 in income taxes. <sighs> this reporter wishes he was in a position where he could ignore paying income tax until he was appointed to a major office in, in the administration of the President of the USA. This reporter also wishes he actually made money, and he didn't have to live in a cardboard box outside the studio when he's done filming. According to ABC News, Congress has voted to postpone the transition from analog TV to digital TV by four months, up to June 12, 2009. The vote came after concerns were raised that many Americans simply were not ready, and that, as Rich Boucher, chairman of the House Commerce Committee's Subcommittee on Communications, Technology, and the Internet, said, If almost 6% of the nation's households lose all TV service, I think most people would declare the TV transition to be a failure. The National Association of Broadcasters said, said that it would also run new television spots, promoting the June 12 deadline, causing four more months of bewilderment for the elderly. Scientists in Colombia have unearthed the fossil of Titanoboa Unpronounceable Name, a 60 million year old snake that is as long as a bus. Scientists did not comment on if they unearthed a prehistoric bus that they were comparing the snake to, or why they would compare a public government vehicle that transports precious children to and from school to a monstrous, slithering death machine that probably fought T-Rexes. Or something. Scientists are so weird. Microsoft announced that it plans to sell seven different versions of its future operating system, Windows 7, whose title is ironic enough in this instance to smile, but not visibly chuckle. As for now, the editions of Windows 7 are tentatively titled as Windows 7 Starter, Windows 7 Home Basic, Windows 7 Home Premium, Windows 7 Professional, Windows 7 Enterprise, as well as Windows 7 Ultimate. When asked which version would be the least like Vista and the most like Apple, the Microsoft representative, representative reportedly got out a MacBook, set it on fire, spit on the ashes, and left the press conference. Now, for a bit more local news, on Tuesday night, both the women's and the men's basketball team left with a win. The women beating Kansas Wesleyan 52-47, and the men also beating Wesleyan 80-69. Tomorrow night is the Heston College Night with the Thunder, where Heston College students will see the Wichita Thunder hockey team versus the Rocky Mountain Rage. Jizz. Read. Rages. Yeah. It starts at 7.05, and if you'd like tickets, well, it's too late. But at least you know your friends will have a good time. Also, as part of the hubbubba, the Heston Bethel Performing Arts, 
The Monarchical Government System Chorus, otherwise known as the King Singers, will be at Bethel College Memorial Hall on Tuesday the 10th at 7.30 p.m. Which is... It, it's this... Uh, it, it, it's soon. Real soon. Admission is free to Heston College students and is sure to be a toe-tapping good time. <laughs> no, I, I seriously don't know. It, it'll probably be good, I guess. Also, the International Festival is coming next Thursday. So, yes. Hello and welcome to the weather. Yay, weather. I'm the Heston College weather puppet, and uh, today in the United States, the, the weather is kind of green. Now, if, if, if we look down here, we have, we have the ocean, and in the ocean, the weather is blue, and it's, well, if you're going to go to the ocean, I suggest you wear a raincoat or an umbrella or, you know, you're, you're going to get wet. It's wet there. But if you stay in America, where it's all green, you might not get wet, unless it's like raining or something. But <laughs> who's going to know if that's going to happen? So, uh, weather. Okay, um, Canada's pink, and Mexico is Mexico. And, um, well, yeah, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the weather today. Um, yay. Bye. And that's all we have for you in this first episode of Channel 7 Horizon Online News. Until next time, uh, uh, keep passing all your classes. And, and stay away from ill-tempered animals.